Well, guys, this is Karen Kill here for CKTV, the Killster here, and I'm just bringing you a little video to talk a bit about the documentary out at the minute on YouTube and on some Vice, of course, Viceland, and uh, it is called The Dark Side of the Ring. And uh, just going to show a few, run a few clips on in the background here of the trailers for the show. Really, really interesting stuff. Been watching a lot of episodes. I've uh, been watching the uh, Elizabeth and Randy Savage one. Been watching the, uh, of course, the tragic end to Elizabeth's career, uh, life in the, the early thousands. Um, also, stuff like the Owen Hart story. Haven't watched that full episode yet, but we all know the story there. Um, also, the uh, Chris Benoit tragic murder suicide of the Benoits. Also, stuff from the um, other uh, tragic wrestling situation or situations featuring pro wrestlers over the years like the Dino Bravo assassination of course he had been involved in the mafia and stuff in Canada and also the, the stories of the, the uh, Montreal screw job with Brett the Hitman Hart and Vince McMahon and Shawn Michaels and stuff also a great story and also the stories of the Von Erics and the tragic Bruiser Brody murder in uh, Puerto Rico so all that stuff features on the show uh really really interesting show i've watched a lot of the episodes there's been two series so far and they're now talking about a third series and i believe that the hulk hogan scandal from a few years ago will be featured on the third series so really excited about that as well about that second third series i've only seen about eight or nine episodes of the two series so far but i'm definitely going to check out a lot more of the dark side of the ring series from vice tv and definitely it's all up on most of the episodes are up on youtube i actually the latest two episodes i've watched over the last few nights were the herb abrams uwf story and the uh Road Warriors, LOD, Legion of Doom story from uh, a few nights ago as well. It's all about the the rise to popularity of the Legion of Doom. So uh, how are you all doing anyway? I hope all everyone's doing well out there uh, during lockdown and they're starting to ease restrictions here in Ireland. So hopefully that works out. But uh, as we've seen in Germany and in Wuhan and China, they had been easing restrictions. And then, of course, there was more lockdown because... The uh, infection rate spread again, so or it rose again. So it's not good when that happens, but hopefully things will go better for everyone and uh, all will be well in the near future. Um, I think America are doing a, a terrible job as far as all of this. I think the American president is a disgrace. Um, I've had my good and bad points about Donald Trump over the years, but I just, I think American president is not where he should be. I find him a funny guy. I find uh, some of his characteristics kind of funny and stuff, and he's been involved in stuff I've been into, including wrestling. So that kind of makes me gravitate towards him a wee bit. But then in other ways, I think he's disgraceful as the president. So it's hard to tell with Trump what exactly is right and what exactly is wrong, you know, but he definitely is... But I don't like the Democrats either. So I don't like a lot of the people on the Democrat side, like uh, the Clintons and that. I think there's a lot of corruption there, uh, as has been seen in the last while. So I do think it's a catch-22 situation. Six of one, half a dozen of the other as far as... I'd love to see Jesse Ventura, who uh, was a, also relates... You know, that's the thing these days. Stuff that you're into that is an entertainment always seems to, um, you know... Getting, always seems to be a link to politics and stuff as well. So everything's kind of linked together. It's strange. But uh, anyway, I'd like to see Jesse, ben, ben, Jesse Ventura going back to maybe as a third candidate when this election comes up in November. I'd love to see him come in as a third party candidate. And he would be, of course, a non-Republican or Democrat because he's up. A, he's kind of against all the idea of the Republicans and Democrats. So it's interesting that, uh, just a thought there, he would be probably a very take-no-shit kind of guy and he'd be good for there. Many others as well would be pretty good for the role. I think Joe Biden is about, he's gone about, uh, I don't know, he's not ready, for, he's not able for this at his age. Maybe he's, the years haven't been great to him and stuff, so I don't know what way he's going to, that's going to work out. But uh, I definitely feel like uh, Trump is not the guy for that job. And hopefully, with the help of God and with the help of the powers that be, uh, actually, well, not with the help of the powers of B, because I think the powers of B are going to frig all together. But uh, with the help of the world and the universe and God, I feel that uh, hopefully, please God, there'll be no war that'll come out of this pandemic. I don't want to see a World War Three or anything. That would be horrible. But uh, 
other than that folks anything else uh, you can leave comments on below tell me what you think i'm trying to make the videos better here got a green screen lately and i'm trying to soup up all my a lot of my videos trying to make them more fun uh fun to make and stuff so i'm really excited about all that uh good to actually maybe get involved in making a couple of music videos now too so that's cool i'm after actually um i'll put the link in the description or in, on after this video i'm after making a sample one minute video as well using a u2 song so just to see what it was like using the green screen and doing different movements on the green screen uh stuff i learned in a while back when i was in college but never actually got my own never actually set one up my you know done all that side of things and made them stuff regular with a green screen so it's cool to be able to do it and then when you get into the editing suite then you can make everything come to life it's pretty cool um other than that uh, i'm trying to think what else i could talk about today on the show um not a lot else i can talk about just Hopefully everything is going well for you out there. And uh, oh, uh, game-wise, let's have a look now. See what games I've been looking at lately. I've actually been playing some Red Dead Redemption. Uh, Red Dead Redemption Two was just made available on. Um, it was made available on the what do you call it? Xbox. Uh, the pass, the pass thing. So it was made available on the pass, and I decided to download it, and it's a really cool game. I played the first one back years ago, and also played Dead, Red Dead Revolver, and I really, really like it. If you want to maybe show a wee clip of that in the background there, just to make the most of this green screen for what for this video, I'm just going to show a bit of Red Dead Redemption and uh, some class stuff on it. Um, I really like it anyway. But, uh, although uh other stuff I've been doing, just chilling out, working on stuff, and uh, working on a few videos here and there. Hopefully, be making a lot more YouTube videos now and uh, making them uh, cooler looking with a green screen. And I just plan on chilling and doing a lot of stuff like that. Uh, definitely feel that um, it's worth it to um, do stuff. Be, be, uh, do what you're passionate about. Uh, like myself here, uh, be productive and do stuff cool and uh, just tie the time over, you know. It's all positive. Anyway, folks, I'll talk to you all later. It has been the Kyoster. Kieran Kyo. Take it easy and Kyoster over. Ha <laughs> ha. And out.